Hello, George from Kdex here. Um, today we're going to be showing you an innovative product we're developing. This is our USB um, wafer reader. Part number USB-WR. This is a skill-based device. Um, quite a little bit of skill is involved, uh, but it assists you in reading wafer locks. The basic system comes uh, with an imaging head, a five-foot cord that connects to your computer. Um, comes with uh, different uh, probes as well as an Allen wrench to change the probes. It has a USB thumb drive. This thumb drive contains the software that you need to operate the system as well as several videos on how to use the tool properly. It has a, a PDF in it of uh, many makes and models of cars. Uh, for example, if you're working on a door lock of a particular make and model, um, the PDF will tell you how many wafers are in that lock, what position they're in, and also what uh, how many depths uh, you're, you'll be trying to look for. There's also a ruler program in here and lots of other instructional um, things to help you uh, work with the system. The imaging head um, is very lightweight, has a couple of uh, set screws here for uh, changing the probes. The very front of the unit, uh, it has a little hole here for the video pickup. Around that is a light diffuser, and underneath that are four LEDs. The LEDs, uh, you can change the intensity of them. On this little dongle that's attached to the cord, you simply rotate this little wheel here, and you can adjust the light intensity of the LEDs, as you can see. It has a little button here. When you're running our software uh, and depressing this button will make it take uh, snapshots. The whole concept around this tool is to be able to insert it in a lock, push down on the wafers, and while withdrawing the tool, whenever a wafer pops up in front of the probe, you simply take a snapshot. Continue doing that while you're removing it out of the lock, taking pictures of every wafer in the lock. Once you've done that, you can go back into the software and create a slideshow. This slideshow you can watch as many times as you'd like to help you determine the height of the wafers. There's also a ruler program in the software that will allow you to um, help you um, determine the height of the wafers. I'm going to demonstrate it here today with uh, this lock. This is a General Motors uh, glove compartment lock. It only has four wafers in it and um, five depths. I'm going to insert it in, and here we're going to switch over and look at it. Okay, we're looking inside the lock now. I'm going to put it, the tool in, push down, and I'm going to start pulling the tool out. As you can see, a wafer popped up there. Okay, I'm going to continue pulling it out. Another one. Hey, that one's a little taller. Next one is shorter. Next one is taller. You can also use this tool to um, read the, the numbers stamped on the wafers. There are very few manufacturers, but the ones that, that do do that, you can actually use this to, to see in the lock and read the actual number that's on the wafer itself. This one is a number five, as you can see. There again, this is a skill-based device. You will have to practice with it in order to, uh, to use the system. Um, basically, uh, that's the basic system right here. Um, there will be um, system uh, software upgrades available. Um, what you want to do if you do buy one of these systems, there's a serial number on every unit. You want to make sure that you register your unit so that you can receive the software upgrades at little or no cost. And then basically that's it, and thank you for watching.